Gone are the days when phones were used just for making and attending calls. Now they're used to watch movies, read e-books, check emails, capture images, shoot videos, and chatting. To perform all these activities with ease, we need big screens on our phones. The iPhone 6 with a more contemporary 4.7-inch screen has finally delivered what the fans of Apple phones have been waiting patiently for. The screen resolution is of 1334 by 750 pixels with a pixel density of 326 pixels per inch. It's not only the screen which is the headline feature of iPhone 6. There's a lot more to it than that. There's a brand new design, much faster processor and the addition of iOS 8. The iPhone 6 feels simply brilliant in the hands after losing the sharp edges in favor of sleek and rounded corners. Measuring 6.9 mm in thickness, the iPhone 6 is thinner in comparison to the iPhone 5S, but it doesn't have the overly lightweight feeling of the iPhone 5S. But it's still a very good size for a single hand operation. Except some plastic detailing on the back, the iPhone 6 appears to be carved out from a single piece of glass and metal fused seamlessly together. It's really well designed and sturdy. It comes in three colors, silver, space gray, and gold, with three storage options of 16 GB, 64 GB, and 128 GB. Realizing that a power button at the top of a phone this size won't make sense, Apple has moved the power button to the right side of iPhone 6. This makes it much easier to reach the button with a finger or thumb. The other side of the phone still has the physical volume buttons and the silent switch. The only change is that the volume buttons are a bit longer than those in iPhone 5S. At the bottom of the phone is the 3.5mm headphone jack with the lightning port and six handsome holes for the speaker. To counter the difficulty of reaching the top of iPhone's large screen, Apple has introduced reachability that can be used by double tapping on the Touch ID button. This will shift the screen downwards, allowing you to reach it with ease one-handedly. In terms of the performance of iPhone 6, the new A8 processor certainly seems up to the task. It's noticeably faster than the A7 chip. Alongside the A8 is the M8 coprocessor that can constantly measure the phone sensors, the accelerometer, gyroscope, and the new barometer to measure heights. The 8 megapixel camera of iPhone 6 is quicker and more capable than ever before. Photos captured by it look great, with natural colors and plenty of detail throughout the image. For shooting in the dark, there's the True Tone flash that uses two LEDs, one white, one amber, to match the color temperature of the scene. The new camera app in iPhone 6 gives you full exposure control to lighten or darken the image to get the desired results. Also, there's a new automatic HDR mode that will turn on when there are light and dark parts of an image. The iPhone 6 is powered by a 1810 mAh non-removable battery. The size of iPhone 6's battery has been enlarged significantly to supply the bigger and better screen. As per various third-party claims, the battery can easily last for two days if you're very careful with the usage. The best thing about the battery is that it charges very quickly. You can get a fully charged battery in two hours. With all these features to boast about and a strong build that screams quality in the hand, iPhone 6 is definitely a smartphone worth spending your hard-earned money on. That's it for now. Stay tuned to check out more tech reviews.